is the Mandalorian's Explosion Alex after show, breaking down and discussing each and every episode of the Disney Plus original Star Wars series, The Mandalorian. My name is Dylan Blight. Joining me, Ashley Holdway. Hey, Dylan. Excited to be here and excited that all your theories proved false. Fucking hell. As usual. This week's episode, <laughs> chapter 24, The Return. It was once again directed by Rick Famuyua, uh, written by John Favreau, Dave Filoni. The synopsis was shit. It was the Mandalorian and his allies confront their enemies. Love that, Disney+. Plus. All right. Before getting into overall <laughs> thoughts on the episode, I do want to say, and we can come back to it, but p- put a pin in this. I'm saying it's bad writing, uh, is what I'm saying <laughs> right now. It's bad writing. You can't it's, bad it's bad titling. It's bad yeah, titling. It's, it's, it's bad English. The spies. Plural. There's a spy. Bad English. Anyway, what was your overall thoughts on this episode? <laughs> <laughs> uh i mean it was fine you know there was a battle a bunch of mandalorians flying around lots of jetpacks um i mean if you're a huge mandalorian fan like seeing mandalorian battles i guess you know if that's something that you've desperately wanted this is the the moment you know um yeah i mean it was pretty good i guess you know it was cool to see you know <laughs> when, I don't when know. You have, yeah, when you just, have to say it's pretty good, I guess. Like, it's I mean, says- yeah, <laughs> the, I mean, it was enjoyable for the most part, but it, I mean, nothing super significant happened, it, and then it ended on a point that's kind of, um, I guess, setting up another season, but also could easily be the end. You know, uh, it definitely didn't leave any loose threads there. You know what I mean? Um, but then they they like bring up different things that are like totally totally random like these moth gideon clones uh that apparently he was putting the force in uh but my big issue with this episode is uh i want to know what kind of steroids moth gideon's on because he's like super strong this whole entire episode like Mm. unfathomably strong Mm. it doesn't make sense no it doesn't love that for the show um yeah i thought it's like he took super soldier syndrome or something (laughs) <laughs> you know what I mean? I thought it was a... Yeah, it was an episode of TV that finished the season mm-hmm. of a show of, like... I feel... I, I, this season was more content and less television, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? You know, like, where you're, like... When the, the word content used as, like, sort of a negative. You know, like, mm. it's a thing. Like, you may it's enjoy like, it, oh, but we it's need like... To put Mandalorian out. Let's do it. Yeah. It's been too long. Yeah. It felt, it felt more like a, we had to do this rather than we cared to do this scenario. Like the only stuff in retros, because obviously there's not much that happens in this, this, like there's a lot that happens in this episode, but at the same time, not a lot. It just sort of wraps up. It's kind of just, it's like, yeah, it's part two. Cool. Yeah. And then, but as the season as a whole, looking back on it straight away now that as soon as you watch the finale, I'm like, that's sort of a nothing season like i don't really know what the point i mean was. <laughs> they did reclaim mandal so i mean something pretty significant in star wars happened yeah like one what but that's it felt like that's the only thing that's is my point like the the only the only stuff that mattered this season was anything that was bo katan so bo katan mm. reclaim mandalore all that yes but everything else just uh, seemed like north Gin's definitely dead this time oh, right fucking, am i right my fucking good. yeah right, am let's i get right into- Let's go or has he got then. secret clones all over? <laughs> Here, let's 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 dive into this hole then. Yeah, was Moff Gideon Moff Gideon, or was this Moff Gideon a clone? I don't know. Because if it was a clone, and I mean, it would make sense. Strength, more, it would make more sense if it was a clone who'd been yes. he'd been doing some sort of like you know uh, modification and stuff. Yeah, it that, would make more sense. So I'm I'm yeah. sitting on that. I'm sitting on it. He was a clone. Yeah, he did die that last time. This was a clone. Yeah, he died on that sh- ship. <laughs> he got killed by the Empire. His body was being transported somewhere, and they had to mm-hmm. take his body for the cells or something. I don't know. Yeah, or he's in some secret base somewhere. Yeah, or re- re- just fucking wreck on that and make that the scenario because that that sort of helps the direction of going. He's but literally like, he's- in another base that's copied exactly the same as this one with the the phaser walls. Yeah. Uh. So yeah. Here's my since I. Did so well with my theory last week. Amra, yep. Do you want to apologize to Amra? 
for besmirching her name? I think the writer should apologize to me <laughs> first. And then we'll see how they go. Uh, Moff Gideon. He's Snoke, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> You son of a bitch. Because <laughs> here, let me take Man. you down this path. Let me take you down okay. this path. Moff Gideon, he may have died here at the end. He probably did. He went out like his character in Breaking Bad in a bomb. And then he... Bunch of fire. <laughs> Bunch of fire. Um, but so he may be dead. That's fine. But one of those clones survived, right? The one who, the one that woke up and like evil-eyed Grogu. Force. Yeah, didn't yeah. blow him up properly. So that one's got some force. Now, it survives, but it comes out a bit fucked up because of the fire. Like, all burnt up or something, you know? Yeah. Like, fully scarred, like, unhuman yeah. looking. Yeah. And somehow his voice cords changed, and he uh, adopted the voice of Andy Serkis. Mm. So then we go to season four, and Bo-Katan comes and finds uh, Din Djarin, chilling out on his little homestead, and she says... Somehow, Moff Gideon has returned. <laughs> <laughs> Just looking all soul, Mike. You know? Yeah. Because, <laughs> you know, he wasn't a Sith. They made that clear. This this character, not a Sith. But he had the Force. He was strong in the Force. Mm. Unnaturally. As if he earned it. Incorrectly. <laughs> <laughs> Clones are bad. We should just get away from clones. It just it makes it no. We, 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 they've already doubled down on clones. That's the future of the con franchise. Just clones. Ridiculous. It's crazy that you know the thing they took away from prequels. Mm. Clones. That clones. That's what we're going to build the rest of this yeah. franchise around. Yeah. I'm so annoyed that he. It would have been such the Ebola move if they actually made Moff Gideon say, instead of being like, I was trying, I was going to inject the force. The one thing I never had, if he was being like, I was trying to inject midi <laughs> like I would have loved, <laughs> I would have loved to have the, for him just to have dropped a midi bomb. I guess that raises, like, why would they bring the Empire back, Emperor that back then? <laughs> I assume that's a Thrawn thing. Like if they, if they, if they want to continue. It's somebody to- else using the same technology, maybe. Yeah, I sh- I, I'm going to, if we if we want to go deep into like what's the, the end goal for this Disney Plus universe story thing, mm-hmm. then I'd say it makes sense for Fraun, who would still be loyal to the Emperor, because that's the sort of character he is, to see that through, like to see his plan of cloning or whatever through. Like, yeah, I- Gideon was out for himself. That's what, that's what he wanted. I don't, I don't think... You tell me that character was loyal to the emperor, and I'll be like, nah. He was, he was, it was just, he was just a bad guy. He was, he wanted power for himself. It was nothing about anything else. So, um, but yeah, I mean, I, I hope he's actually dead because ultimately, ultimately, as cool as the bet, the best scene in this episode was seeing Mando fight his way through the that little the little gate, go John Wick. You know, that was a cool scene. See him yeah. take him on one by one. That was the best scene in the whole episode. I thought. Uh, but then once we got there at the end and, you know, Gideon comes out and stuff and they have to fight, I'm like, we've done this. Like, what's the... Like, I just... I, I straight away didn't really care. I'm like, we've had this fight before. Like, I don't... I don't, I don't really care that you're back. I just kind of preferred when you were just dead and <laughs> I thought your story was over. <laughs> I thought we did it, you know, season two. And then yeah. the fact that he, like, just straight up... They spend so much of this season... So much the last two seasons and all of the Clone Wars and all of Star Wars <laughs> talking about the Darksaber. And then he just breaks it. <laughs> it's like all this lineage, all this importance, snap. Yeah. It's like, got it. It's a very like, John Favreau and Dave Filoni were like writing against each other in the writing room and John Favreau just like snapped up the pen and then wrote and then Gideon snaps it in a very much like if my child can't have it yours can't. <laughs> Dave Filoni's like, like no! <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> there's no way to change it now that you've wrote that on the page yeah it's fine they can fix it I mean yeah they can they can actually they fix got that robot yeah it's gonna be I mean, in the soaker. 
Yeah, true. So that was that was very that's weird. that's how it's all going to tie in. They found the Mandalorians actually found that robot because they needed him to fix the dark Maybe. How do you uh? How do you feel about the lack of? Any like so no fraud, no after credits, no no tease for Ahsoka. Like, do, do you do you think it was a good thing that it just sort of wrapped up? It's. it's like, I mean, it's I would actually. have loved it, but uh, I don't think it was surprising given how the episode ends with, uh, you know, Mando and Grogu living happily ever after, kind of, uh, on the cabin in the middle of nowhere. Mm. You know. You know. I mean. Pedro Pascal taking a whisking his way, this kid from his destiny to live in a cabin, uh, in a settlement, a new settlement. You know, I do not believe he was on set once. He never took his helmet <laughs> off this entire se- se- season. He was never on set. He wasn't season. allowed. To. He was never. He was on a set. redeemed. He didn't want to take his helmet <laughs> off. He didn't want to take any more risks. I don't believe it. I reckon. I reckon the t- he was filming the Last of Us and then going to a sound booth from recording his lines. He never. He was never on set for the show. He doesn't even know what Grogu looks like in real life. Let's <laughs> just let's just switch the credits. They should have those the two dudes who play him on set before, and then have Pedro Pascal listed third. Sorry, but sometimes the truth. Voice works very important. I mean. To this character, <laughs> <laughs> yep. nah, it's fine. Um, yeah, I, I I liked how he finally adopted him, so he's finally officially daddy. Material, Jing, Jing Grogu. Yeah, don't know how that works, but whatever. So that's it's that's like nice. uh, you know Chinese names, the surnames at the front. Yeah, okay, fair enough. And then. I so does that like- mean Bo Katan's Katan's her given name? Kreese is her oh, Bo- family name. Bo Katan Kreese. Yeah. Okay, then no, I don't know that. Yeah. So her first name is Bo Might just be a Death Watch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Death Watch thing. That's right, motherfuckers. I'm so annoyed about that. Like, not only do you <laughs> do all these little red herrings and then tie left beside the spies and if it wasn't her there was that stage there when old mate was coming into the ship time end, and i was like ah he was the second spy and then when the episode ended i was like ah i was the spy <laughs> I was, <laughs> who was the fucking like you can't Dylan, it's like, pretty clear myth god myth moth gideon was the spy the entire time spying in the dark it's the other council you said own motivations you know no. Whoever just titled the episode was like, Oops, Or maybe there's this. another spy in that episode and we just didn't notice them because they're super sneaky. Yeah, Grogu for Luke Skywalker. <laughs> it's all happening. Yeah. I'm so pissed off, too, that he does that massive force field thing and saves yeah. them both. And I'll tell you why. Do you want to try and guess why? You'll bet you can't. You won't be able to. So he, no, he's a baby, right? Yeah. He does this massive force field, protects uh, daddy and stepmummy is yeah. fucking against the fireball. That's how Kanan died, because he couldn't hold it long enough. And he well, died. Now he's got more beauty chlorine, so. It's fucking bullshit, man. This is a baby. <laughs> That's how Kanan dies. Like, come on. He uh, had that training that he had with Luke uh, like four years ago, that yeah. uh, or 10 years ago, I don't know, uh, that you know he's been practicing every day, so, you know. Who was Kanan trying to save his daddy? No, Kanan was saving his loved ones, but like he, he achieves it, but he died. Like he does, he's unable to save himself. So well, it turns out here's Dave Filoni saying Kanan was a bitch the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> to treat this guy like they just they take his eyes. just you know, it's bullshit. Uh, yeah, I, I don't really know. I, I. This I feel like this is a very weird se- uh, season. Like, and not only do I feel weird about this season, but I honestly feel like my Twitter, which had mostly been ninety nine percent of people loving it, one percent not for the last two seasons, a lot more split this season. How, yes. how do you feel the reactions been? I definitely agree with that. You know, people yeah. made a lot more split. They're like, oh, what the happen? Because it, it's all the people who are like plot, 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 plot. They're like, oh, what is happening with the plot? 
and then people who maybe enjoyed like random shit. Like, I think obviously episode six, super divisive. <laughs> um, you know, and that probably is the most telling episode, like of the split of fans. So, I mean, you think about it right now because I'll say it that was the best episode of the season. I mean, yeah, that was the most enjoyable. It was the most enjoyable. Like, and not- I'm going to say it. That's what we're going to get more of in season four, based which on how they end this episode. Me, yeah, which would make me very happy. the The biggest and best thing to come out of this season was that little just set up at the end. Just the I'm going to go do jobs for New Republic. They're going to send me out on these 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 hunts that can be one or two episodes just to look yep. for um, remnants of the Empire. Like, going to take down bounty. Like people hold up on planets. Like. You know, like just go back to it's more of that season you. one feel of just random adventure of the week. Random, yeah, yeah adventure of the week. You don't need some massive overall story. Yeah, we've got two other series to do. Yeah, and look, I'm fine with like if we get a fourth season and that's what it is, fantastic. If it's more of the vibe of episode six, where it's just like you can have super serious or wild and weird as that episode was. That's what I want. That's what I want out of this show. That's what I thought the show was I want supposed to Mando be. and Grogu on murder mystery adventures. Yeah. Done. If you want to continue Bo-Katan story, that's a separate show. Don't, don't. Done. Mandalorian's a, done. Yeah. The Mandalorian. <laughs> <laughs> um, Trademarked. If, I, I know I'm not against, like, obviously he's going to get, these two characters are going to get swept back up into whatever the massive event is with Thrawn eventually, which mm-hmm. I'm not against for the movie event or whatever. However, for this, the sake of this show, I definitely hope that, yeah, the writing on the wall as of how this season ends is more smaller, solo adventures, bounty hunting, how the show started. That's what I want. Yep. That'd, make, that'd be good. So. And then them just sitting at home, hanging out, playing yeah. with frogs. I don't recall. Have they ever done the? I don't remember the actual name for that transition. But have they ever done that transition at the end of the show before? No, it was no. so random. Well, it's usually f- it's usually how Star Wars movies end. Oh, so I feel like it was like this is the end, like it's the third season. This is the this end. Is the, this, this is, is the, the end. end of this story. Sorry, least, guys, Mandalorian you know? cancelled. No, <laughs> but it felt like these. So it, it, that's what it gave me anyway. Like we, we're doing mm. that transition because that's how the movies usually end with the. No, because um, the last few of uh, last few seasons, obviously, we had cliffhangers. I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Well, like very loose open threads. Yeah. So yeah, it's very much like, hey, these three seasons. That's doing that mm. transition to end. Is this these three seasons? That's one story. It's over now. We're going back to season four. It's like sort of a soft reset. Back to bounty mm. hunting. Good. Yep. I don't know. You got anything else you want to talk about? Uh, I love Grogu running around. Like, like even he, just him robot, using the or? force powers. Well, yeah, him being in IG twelve, which you know leads into we get IG eleven back at the end of the season. Yeah, it's like, hey, guess what? I found got a surprise for you. It's the robot I said I wanted at the start of the season, and then didn't end up wanting. We fired Cara June as this from this job because she's transphobic, and we've replaced her with a robot. <laughs> they are fine. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, good for Taika, I guess. <laughs> Another job. $10,000. Yeah, yeah. You know, all, you know, more, more dialogue, I guess. They're going to make the money worth, I guess. Um, but yeah, Grogu, like, jumping around on the lights. I thought that was very fun. And then him using his force powers and, you know. Him walking at the end was very weird, though. You know, because his little thing was too up a little bit too high. You can see his little legs dangling <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> but yeah. Also, it looks like Zeb wasn't in the bar, so maybe he's gone somewhere else. Doing something else. Oh. Gone to another bar. I can't wait for Ahsoka starts and Ahsoka walks up to Sabine and she goes, Hey, can you come like help me find um that kid Ezra that we used to hang out with? And she's gonna be like, Yeah, no worries, that sounds awesome. And then Ahsoka's like, Do you do you know they like reclaimed your home planet? No, like fuck that though, come with me. Like, we'll go there later. <laughs> it's pretty boring. Yeah, yeah it's pretty boring. Like, it's fine. We'll, we'll go there later. It's fine. All right. I mean, it's pretty um, significant that they like relit the forge and like Yeah, yeah it was a cool moment. All that like, kind of stuff. Yeah, so yeah. 
just I'm just like just make that its own. If you want to continue that story, especially when you're like showing the the mythosaur again. Yeah. What's the teasing what, the teasing that gonna play out? He's there. Yeah, he's there. He's that's gonna fun. show up and eat Thrawn. That's it. Yeah, Done. Maybe. That'd be a funny way yeah. to go. So. <laughs> All right, thank you for joining us for this season of The Mandalorians. Of course, you can find all our other shows and stuff on explosionup.com. Uh, and this podcast will continue like all good things. It never dies. We return once again. Uh, we'll be back on, I don't know, like two, two and a half, three weeks, whatever it is roughly, for uh, Star Wars Visions. And we'll do two episodes on that. Yeah. Uh, four episodes and then four episodes like we did last time. And before you know it, a so-called will be out. And of course, we'll be back for a week by week with that. No idea what I'm going to call, call that show yet. We've got time. We'll think about it. For, so. for Ahsoka? Yeah, yeah, for Ahsoka. I yeah, mean, I mean, Rebels fair, 2, Electric Wiggaloo. Yeah, no, you can't, your names are terrible. <laughs> the, I mean, I don't think we even... Rebels Returns. Air. I think it was like five minutes before we recorded our and or one. And I just like wrote, just made it up there. And so we'll see oh, how yeah, we go. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we can't call it Rebels. No, no, yeah. It's probably already taken. So anyway, don't need to decide it now um, because the podcast will go from 20 minutes to 20 hours. So uh, mm, follow our Twitters, explosionnetwork.com slash Twitter and check out our Discord, explosionnetwork.com slash Discord if you want to talk to us on any of those platforms about the show. That would be great. And until next time, we have spoken. Did it cross your mind when the episode was called The Return that Luke might show up again? Yes. Because it's Return. Yes. Of the Jedi. I hated it. <laughs> I mean, at least they didn't do it. Totally.